man of God. Now, there's a difference between the power to become Jesus' witness and the power that Jesus sent them out two by two. Mark chapter 6 verse 7 said he called unto him the 12 and began to send them forth two by two and gave them power over unclean spirits. So watch, they received the power over unclean spirits. This is different than when they received power to become his witness. When they received power to become his witness, that's for them to just show forth that he's alive. So you can look at them and see that Jesus is alive because they're walking in power. They're walking in grace. They're walking in focus. They're walking in freedom and liberty. They're walking in the blessing. They're walking in wealth. It's for them to be witnesses. So when you witness them, you witness God through their life. But this power that Jesus gave them was for them to cast out devils out of people. So the power to be witness is for their image, to show forth their lifestyle, to show forth how powerful God is. But the power over the unclean spirits was to set those that was under those demons free. So there's upper room discipleship. And upper room discipleship, what it does is it attracts the power over unclean spirits. Wow. This mighty. This mighty. So when you have discipleship, meaning that you're disciplined, you are serving your man of God. You receive power to deliver other people. My God. When you are serving, when you are a disciple, discipleship, upper room discipleship, it attracts power over other people's demons. So y'all have the solution to their pollution. We dealt with that. All right. Marabaso kore da vandele vosi akai. Jerobosata papa paka rapantelemos. Deba carabante kere manta carama. Saints, do you understand this? Achieving the upper room. And allowing the upper room location to saturate every department of your life. Starting from within. See, saints, let me just tell you something. You know why people get anxious for stuff? Because you're trying to work from without. You're not working from within. So that's why you get anxious. Because this part of you is not surrendered. You're trying to get this part of you to surrender on the outside. And God's saying, no, I will let that outside be just the way it is. So that your inside will learn how to do it. You know what anxiety come from? It come from you trying to subdue your atmosphere without yourself being subdued. 
So you are a hypocrite to your petition. So, so you are a hypocrite. You betraying God because you asking him to do something on the outside that you unwilling to do on the inside. And God really telling you, yeah, I can do that on the outside real easy for you. But I, that's not my intent. My intent is for you. You the one that's going to spend all eternity with me. You the one that I want to be my bride forevermore. So I need you to receive. You receive the change. You receive the change. You. You receive the change. Listen. You receive the change. On the inside, you receive the change. And on the outside, it'll submit to your submission. Saints, hear what the Holy Ghost just said. He said the outside is only allowed by me to submit to your submission. It's only allowed to change to your change. Is only allowed to obey from your obedience. So, so saints, your outside has divine rights to ignore you until you let God take over on your insides. Saints, I sometimes I get messages from people, they be telling some prophet, you know, pray for me. I'm looking for a wife. Pray for me, Papa. I'm looking for a wife. Or pray for me. I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> baby, you don't be need to be looking for nothing. You <laughs> baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You don't look for nothing. You attract everything. You don't look. For, you attract everything. You are a tractor. If you're not carrying the atmosphere of that in your single life, why, why, why are you going to carry the atmosphere? You irresponsible right now. How are you going to be responsible with somebody else? You don't even know how to be diligent with you. How are you going to help somebody else be diligent? You don't even know how to listen to God for your life. How are you going to listen to God for someone else's life? Saints, in my wisdom, I have discerned something. That over 95% of petition is vanity. And Satan has used the law of petition to weary saints. Because most times you asking God to do something that only you got the power to activate him doing. Oh my God. My God. My God. So the devil would magnify that law of petition, make you feel that the petition is what's going to move the manifestation when really the petition is just an application. You pay your application down. Now the boss going to tell you what he looking for to hire that application and pin it to work. My God. See, 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 see. He going to get your application because your petition is application. And he going to tell you the work requirement because faith without works is dead. Sneeze some more. Remember, you got to learn how to sneeze. <laughs>